it, it's my understanding that uh, there was a, some kind of mandate where. Um, Speak up, Lewis, because we're videoing this. It's my understanding that there was a, a mandate regarding uh, conversion, people who have propane. And when natural, when the natural gas line is supposed to be put, when it is put in the area, and you from FBU could probably answer that, when it's put in the area, they're supposed to be given the option that they can tie into the natural gas line, and the natural gas line is supposed to be put in uh, if they if they request it, put in to their house and go up and, and up to the point of putting in a meeting. Absolutely. Now. Depending on whether you're a Florida Public Utilities propane customer or not, I don't know if there'll be a charge for you to run that new service. They have certain rebates going and stuff like that on appliances and that sort of thing, but I can't answer about charges and stuff for running a new service, especially if you're not a Florida Public Utilities propane customer. Okay. If, you uh, have a diff thought... if you have an outside propane company and you want to run a line from our gas line, yes, we. We do have to supply you that gas if you want it, but I can't guarantee there will not be a charge for that. Okay, but it's my understanding that if you're a Florida Public Utilities customer now, and you have the propane, and they're supposed to be doing that, when it comes in the area and doing that without charge? I would assume, I would think that they would. I'm, I can't guarantee that, because I'm not in that financial end of it, but. Okay, I, I guess how can we find out because um, from what I'm hearing from the uh, Mars gentleman, and forgive me if I pronounce the company wrong, um, is that when they get to certain blocks, it is very quick when they go and they actually, after they test the line and everything, and they set it up and set it up to the house. <coughs> I have a 100 gallon or whatever uh, propane tank now, and I'm a part of public utilities customer. Okay. Um, now, obviously, there's probably a lot of people. My house was built in the 50s, and there's probably a lot of people in the same situation where they have this big outside tank, a propane tank, and they have FPU. Uh, I mean, I'd hate to have them come, do the whole block, and leave, and people like me never get a chance to do to take advantage of that conversion. Okay. You, you would have to contact us and set up a new account, because you, your account would go from propane to natural. They'd have to set up that account, switch it to propane. Your appliances would have to be converted to, to natural because so you'd have to call a company and actually set that up. They're not okay. Do you know the section of the company? Because something like that, talking the way you do, makes it sound like something that's going to take weeks or something to do, and in that kind of time, he could end up being on my street and gone and off to someplace else. No, there's some there's some door flyers that we have. I can I can. There should have been a flyer placed on your door yeah. already. There and we, we'll bring up some extra door flyers and we can bring them here. We can get with College Park, the president, and, and have them readily available. That'll show uh, that FPU already took the time to print up. And what it does is it, it breaks down what their, what their special offers are, the rebates, and basically gives you an overview of, the, of the, what the project entails. So it should answer some of those questions for you. It'll give you direct line for, it's called the GRIP program. It'll give you direct access line to an operator that will help you with that request. And I guess I'm thinking logistically from the time frame because uh, the, I, I live on Harper mm -hmm. and they've already put in the main line on Harper. They've already covered it up, dug it up. Um, I live on a section of Harvard that has never had natural gas and myself and my neighbor next to me have tried for 10 years to get a natural gas line put in and the neighbor two doors down from us got so mad that he just had his own line put in because he couldn't wait for FPU because we were going around in circles. So, I know there are different people who have propane who want to switch to natural gas and get the ugly tank out, uh, but you know the time frame in terms of you know who we need to contact when, how fast that turnaround could be. Because like I say, they'll probably be probably within the next two or three weeks they'll probably be back on my street hooking up main lines, and, and you know you want to have that. I would like to have that done so my line is done at the same time so there's no real cost because you're doing everybody all the way down the street. Thank you, Lewis. That's a question that came in via email a lot, too. If I don't have a gas line hooked up in the street to my house now, is now a good time yes, for me to get time. it? It is an excellent time to get it. And how much does that cost? That is all stuff that you have to go through with the rebates that he was talking about. The flyers have all that information on it. You'd have to contact the salesperson, and they would have all that information for but you. But now Each, is a good time to do it. Yes, now is the, the, the best time. time. 
Okay, well then we need to get that information. I'll bring you. Staff. I'll bring you an extra set of flyers, and I'll actually okay. send you the electronic version of it as well. Okay, good. Um, and that way, if anybody wants to grab one from you, uh, we we've, we've placed them out throughout the neighborhoods. They're flyers. You know, they're gonna. They're, people do what they're gonna do with them. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of really good information on there, and it, it go, like I said, it goes into a really good overview of what what the uh, the marketing is, and it's a very very aggressive program. We've had really good success with it in the last year. Are there any, yes, go ahead, do you have a yes, question? Yes, um, you've already been down our street on Cornell, and uh, we just got back from vacation, and the uh, concrete, um, the apron of our driveway mm -hmm. is broken up. Okay. Is that going to be replaced? Or? Did, did my crews? I don't know. We, were, I, we just got back in town, so there's a, it's concrete on the apron going mm -hmm. up, and we have brick, but the apron going uh, from the driveway into the street is all broken up and there's a asphalt patch. Okay, so chances are excellent they dug right there, then yeah, anything we break we'll put back. Okay. okay. So yeah. and is that just well, our, our, out, out by the road and I'm concerned about that too. Anything anything we disturb okay. we will we'll put back to as okay. existing or better condition. That's oh, just great. part of so you're but, just doing that we and have we have we have we have to put it back yeah. as a temporary patch to, to make it to make tests. it solid so it can yeah. withstand pedestrian traffic. Right. Right. There are going to be you're, and you'll see there are going to be areas we get into these excavations yeah. and literally in some spots up to a half a dozen times. Yeah, I assume that. I just wanted to verify yeah. that that. Was it seems like it's very redundant, but there's a purpose to every time we do sure. it. We just don't yeah. get in to look at the pipe. Yeah. It, it just it seems that way. But yeah. I mean. I'm sorry, for the people who have not had the work done on their street, would you spend just a few minutes, please? and explain directional drilling, that this is not digging a trench. Could, could you do that? Well, it technically is digging a trench. Tech, it's but trenchless it's technology. We're actually... Um, but it's underground. Yeah. yeah. You don't water. see it, other than the hole that you have We, we guide it. We, we guide it. It has an actual uh, magnetic sond in the head. Uh -huh. The head, if you, if you picture, picture a rod, with a piece of flat steel on the end of it, based at a 45 degree angle, we call that the duck bill. That's what it steers with. It steers just like a clock. 12 is up, six is down, three is right, nine is left, and then you add your up and over. There's a magnetic battery operated head inside of there that gives off a signal, and that signal expands as it comes out of the ground, it's calibrated to a locating unit. The uh, drill locator stands out front, they calibrate this, this unit to read that exact unit. It can't be interfered with radio frequency or electrical high voltage power. It reads that unit, that unit only. That's what it's for. They calibrate it for depth and for pitch so that when this pipe goes in the ground, we can tell you within a 10 foot rod, if our pitch changes from a minus 1% going down, which is, I mean, you won't even notice it with the naked eye, to a negative 12, which is gonna be one foot down for every 10 feet out. We can steer this thing and we could literally put a dot at the end of the hallway and go in the ground right here and go around and come right out of that dot. Wow, how long can that thing go? It depends on which machine's out there. The, yeah, the, and, 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 and these residential, pro on the, on the residential projects we're using, I hear they've got, uh, my subcontractor is DBE. Um, they're a very, very good directional drilling company. Uh -huh. I've used them um, solely <laughs> for the last three years on a number of projects throughout South Florida. They do a really good job. Um, and their equipment's all very new. Yeah, the machine yeah. they're using out in College Park, I believe the 30, they can stretch that thing out about 1,800 feet. Uh, 1,800? Mm -hmm. Have any of you actually gone outside and seen them do this work? I have. We have. I've seen you. Yeah. It's absolutely fascinating. They it drill pri pilot holes every yeah. 25, 50 feet, whatever it is. And they, it's just a hole in the ground this big. Uh -huh. They start at the end of the block with the, the directional drill. Every time it moves 10 feet, the machine picks off a 10 foot length of pipe, adds it to it, shoves it a little more. It's phenomenal. Water goes through the pipe to help make it, you know, sandy and, and get out of the way. I saw them right in front of my house go underneath an existing pipe and come up the other way. It's fascinating. Well, and it's, it, it, it's come a long, long way in a very short amount of time. This contract, we do 99.9% .9 of our installations are with directional drill. We do it every day. We, as a, my company, Mears, um, our conglomerate, Mears Group, which is a different division of Mears, is actually the biggest directional drilling company in the world. Our parent company, Quanta Services, is the biggest EHV and gas distribution contractor in the world. I mean, it's a giant company.